My name is Erwin Chemerinsky. I'm the Dean of the University of California Berkeley School of Law. I've been teaching freedom of speech law for 45 years, and I've been asked to explain the 101 of freedom of speech in 101 seconds. What is freedom of speech? Ultimately, it's that people have the right to express any idea in view. That we don't want the government, we don't want campus administrators, we don't want anyone telling us that there's ideas and views we can't express. So freedom of speech is about somebody to stand on a street corner and hand out a pamphlet. It's about the ability of a person to park to set up a soapbox. It's about the ability of large groups to demonstrate in the parks and on the sidewalks and the streets. It's about the ability to give money to candidates, get elected or have them defeated. It's about the ability to have media and social media to express views and ideas. I was a child when the civil rights protests were going on. I participated in the anti-war Vietnam protests when I was in college. I remember taking a college course on freedom of speech, and that was part of what caused me to decide I wanted to make constitutional law my field. And I've been teaching First Amendment law ever since I began as a law professor in 1980. It's hard for us to believe today, but until the mid-1960s, college university across the country greatly limited the ability to engage in speech on campus. And that was protested at Berkeley in the mid-1960s, we've come to know as the free speech movement. And it changed the nature of free speech at every college and university. Now we accept that it's the very nature of education that there has to be free speech. And given Berkeley's role in the free speech movement, given its commitment to freedom of speech, this is the perfect place to come and study. Thank <laughs> you.